Who is Jew swirled and why do I care? It really, you know, in, 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 insensitive way to bring it up. But well, no, I'm asking. Like, Juice World was a rapper, at the, and he was at the carnival. Artist, big hip hop artist at the carnival. One of the headlining acts. One of the headlining acts at the carnival. And he's dead. He had a seizure at an airport in Chicago over the weekend. That's being reported. Not sure. Drugs. He took some pills before he went to the airport. He took some pills before he went to the airport. Seizing, and blooding. Dying. Dying, yeah, bleeding. Yeah. Goodbye. Yep. I'm only 20. 21, 2021, right? 21 years old. How's that make you feel, Natty? As a young kid who listens to the Juice World? Uh, no, I actually kind of felt bad because I booed him at Camp Flogna. So, um, he told me I. Told Why me. did you boo Juice World at Camp Flogna? I, I I think it was his hype man. His hype man was super annoying. It was like everybody get up, and everyone was just like, Nah. Well, uh, you're it again. <laughs> this is where this is kind of the Drake, the Drake stuff. Yeah. These kids are in line. They don't have VIPs. They're smashed together like sardines, waiting for Frank. Correct? Is that why you're uh, there? This one was the Saturday night. night. The, you're we just waiting for Tyler. Tyler. Tyler right. You're on. waiting for Tyler, but you had to get there for Juice World set. So you were able to see it. You had to sit through it if you're a GA for yeah. sure. Yeah. Okay, got it. And Juice World is shit. No, I don't think he's <sighs> shit. I think there's a lot of people that really like his music. It's more mainstream. Yeah. It's more mainstream. It's pop. It's more Kiss FM. His songs definitely were played on Kiss FM. His songs would definitely be played on K Rock. Is Juice World shit, Natty? Juice World's music was not for me. Uh, I I would have said he is shit. Before he died, for sure. Thanks for being on. Okay, so now that he's dead, he's not shitty? Out of respect, I mean, he's not going to be making any more music. So it's like, what? Okay, so now that Juice World is dead, yeah, his music is no longer shitty? No, his music is really bad, but I'm not going to say he, <laughs> he's, he's making shitty music because like he's no longer Seems like you think you're like offending his family. Or well, he's not making himself. shitty music anymore because he's just not making I don't, music. I don't think he was around long enough, really, for him to be that big of a deal, though. I think... The, the like the IG dying thing is well now big making him a bigger deal than he is not even that because they were talking about him on Instagram all of those famous people with Drake and stuff and the posts were so short usually you know they have this long ass paragraph these posts were just like rest oh, easy juice sorry to hear you died at twenty one rest in peace like it was really just that so I, wait well hold on let's want to should we play a little Juice World his biggest song on the iTunes charts right now is Lucid Dreams. That was his big, big one, song. right? That's yeah. a big song. I was watching the Juice Man. <laughs> or the ju- <laughs> Juice Box. Juice. I mean, I'm sorry. The Juice World. Mm-hmm. I was watching the Juice Box. Right. Because I was watching the Twitch Camp Fogna stream. Of course. And that was a big stream for them. I would imagine that the Juice Man or the Juice Box was a... That was, I remember, they. it was like a... He's very popular, the Juice Box, Matt, correct? Very popular. Okay. Now, the way music is now with streaming, he's a popular streamer, and that streamer got into the radio airwaves, or vice versa. I don't know how it works, but he's popular. And why do all the young kids spell shit without vowels? The bo- because the well, Booby Hamptons did that. I don't know for, for, for sure. I'm but guessing because they, they some... tried to get a name and it was already a domain. Correct. That's probably why they were doing it. That was the young kid's way around getting a thing. Correct. Let's go to the juice world. Okay, this is juice. Now, world, I don't though. know anything about the juice, man. I've never heard a fucking song from the juice box. And I got my own little commentary about his death mm-hmm. shortly after we listened to a little of the juice, man. You're already, you're already not happy. <laughs> About my post Juice World music commentary, I can tell. I would have preferred without it. I would have preferred it not be a part of this show. You don't but know that it's not going to be very nice. I love this song by. Uh, it's a good song. You know this song, Natty. The sample? Yeah. No, I don't. All right, so. I still see your shadows in my room. Can't take back the love that I gave you. It's to the point why I love and I hate you. And I cannot change you, so I must replace you. Oh, easier said than done. I thought you were the one listening to my heart instead of my head. You 
found another one, but I am the better one. I won't let you forget me. I still see your shadows in my room. Can't take back the love that I gave you. It's to the point where I love and I hate you, and I cannot change you, so I must replace you. All right. You enjoying that, Banks? I like that song. Okay, what's the other one? Uh, he, the one featuring Travis Scott, he had, wasn't his song, but it's called um, No Bystanders. That was his one of his, his second biggest iTunes chart songs. This sound like a weekend? This just sounds like overproduced stuff. I say... Yo, DC Danny in the house. I ain't shitting on a dead guy, Danny. He's in the said? Twitch. Yeah, see, that's what I was afraid of. Well, well, first of all, first down, first down of all. Okay, this is not, this is not very good stuff, man. But that doesn't mean that it's that doesn't mean that's not disrespectful to say no, that you don't not. enjoy his music. Is it Vanger? Because not the day after he died. Yeah, that's what you're it's saying. It's insensitive to to have a segment like this. I mean, it's relevant, but if someone were to listen to this, they could be like, "Oh, you're making fun of this." Well, here's what I got to say to Juice World's parents. Cuz I've been through this recently. Mac Miller is dead because Mac Miller made really fucking poor choices and was in the midst of a of a grimy little addiction and he thought he was too he thought he was immortal and he's not and he's no longer with us and I miss him a lot. I don't miss Mac every day, but I miss him quite a bit and I don't miss people. And it's been a year and a half and I still am angry at Mac because I know Well, I just know how fucking ridiculously the further I get away from Mac's death, the crazier I realize just how unnecessary him leaving the planet was. And he had a ton of help and he had a ton of like people that were willing to do whatever they needed to do to help him and he just kind of he just, like, because he was young, was like, don't worry, I got it. And he didn't have it. And, you know, I, I read that Juice World lyric about how it's like, ah, I'm fucking 27 club ain't gonna make it to 21. Well, guess what, motherfucker? You're right. And so when I see a gajillion kids celebrating that message... When I'm watching him sing that song at the fucking at the carnival, and the lyrics seemingly were they seemed similar. I mean, Mac was like a real artisan. Like Mac well, was no, a real I musician know, and wrote be, real. But the the uh, message of like I'll go back and listen to some Mac records and be like, yeah, this is dark because it mirrored the reality yeah, of the situation, correct. right? And this kid was. If you are listening and you do drugs and you take synthetic pills and and I'm going to just say it again. If you don't see, listen, I understand the desire to check out. I understand the desire where life's shitty and it's hard and I should do. And people like the effect produced by chemicals because it gives them an escape from what's really happening. And you and sometimes what's really happening is really hard. But the whole playing up of the, like, it's cool to not to not make it to 27 and then to have it actually really happen, I, to Juice World's parents, I, I, I'm just, I'm fucking sorry. And I, and I know that you were just, your heads have got to be fucking spinning today. And whether your kid, whether I liked his music or not, first of all, I'm 50. Your kid wasn't making music for me. And B... I definitely would rather Juice World being around making bad music than not being around making no music. Right. And so I guess what can we do? We can learn from this scenario and maybe, 
And I would guarantee you, Juice World's parents, whoever you are, there will be kids that taper or stop or don't do as many drugs as they used to do or they get themselves some help because your son connected to them in a way where they are going to take a look at their behavior. And kids' lives will be saved as a result of the death of Juice World, and that That's only, that's honestly the only positive thing about the entire I, thing. I, I hope you're right. Music nowadays, and I think music in this country for a very long time, because you're putting on a persona, you talk about drugs in a way that you're using drugs, or if you were truly doing that, you would die. And so it gets glorified in this society because it's art, right? Because he was all both, even Matt, not to compare his both of these rappers' deaths, but they both seem like they overdosed taking drugs, and they rapped about taking drugs lots of drugs and th- now, listen is there- this is in rock and roll this has been the you That's- know this has been a this has been a vein for since the advent of rock right. live fast yeah die young and they a lot of those good rock stars corpse. did yeah and listen john bonham uh, drank himself to death janice joplin fucking kurt cobain yep. Jimi hendrix the live fast die young leave a good looking corpse routine it's an avenue. It is. And well, I so guess we can't do anything about it. It will always be. There will always be some kind of weird romanticism about just doing what I'm going to do and living. And if it fucking doesn't work out and I die, so be it. Like that whole. And, and you know what? We will again have another conversation at some point in a year, six months, three months, two years about some kid who had that fucking movie in his head but really didn't believe it cuz he thought you know what I'm I'm just this is like there that's the that's the thing that bums me out is the wink it was there was always like a little bit of like I'm living how I'm living but I got this right like yeah. I'm living hard and I'm living fast I'm good but I got this and you well, don't got your it experience you don't got it yeah, people does. fucking die yeah people fucking die and uh it, and it's just a bummer. Like, Juice World is dead. And I don't give a shit about what Juice World meant to the planet because he meant nothing to me artistically. But to but others. Ho- but, yeah, but, yeah. Holy sh- but holy shit. Holy shit. Juice World meant a lot to his friends and his family and his parents. And he had his life set up for the rest of his life now. He could have really gotten into the studio and tried to become a D. De- like, he had it all in his thing. And fucking drugs are stupid. I want to say this one more time. If you party with pills and synthetic drugs, you can and will fucking die. It's all a big chemical math equation, and when you put those synthetics into your body and they release later, or they react differently when the coke goes in or whatever, there is, you are fucking with a time bomb. And I would just, if you want to go be a drug addict, go be a drug addict, because I understand what, I'm an alcohol, I get it, but let's try to stay away from the fucking pills, man. Please. And I'm sorry to Juice World's parents. I'm sure he was a wonderful kid. Me too. I, I haven't. I'm sure. I like. I'd hope he was. Play a song, and then we'll come back and do the show. Sorry. <laughs> 